When you're tuning air guns, the pieces have to work in harmony. You're always looking for a to fill a barrel up with air behind a pellet of a given power level. And that means you have to change the size of the head to get different flow rates past the valve head. You have to change the porting to accommodate that flow volume. And if your porting is done just right, it'll choke off the flow and create a situation where the valve wants to shut when you got the right amount of CO2 in your barrel. So we change hammer weights, we change valve head size, and we change transfer port sizes in harmony when we want to make power changes and tuning a gun for efficiency. Because efficiency and accuracy are one and the same, so we always have to stay efficient. We can't get accuracy by blowing into the skirt of a pellet. It doesn't work. We have to fill the volume of the barrel up, let the pellet go, and don't disturb it when it leaves. That's like running a paintball gun at a little less than 300 where it doesn't curve. So we look at things like, how do you be accurate? When we did paintball guns, we had a high power, what everybody called the high power spring, slowed the gun down 15 feet per second so it shoots straight instead of curve. That was the summer spring. And everybody called it the high power spring, but it actually made the gun shoot 15 feet per second slower to make it not upset the ball when it left, and then it didn't curve balls. So we had a spring for the winter, which is a factory spring, and we had a spring for the summer, which was what everybody called the high power spring, because the ball got there sooner because it didn't curve. And it you can't go a gun, you can't make a go gun a gun go faster unless it has a longer barrel without curving the ball. So we always came up with a solution so that the gun would get full power, but not waste air curving balls or creating inaccuracy. So it, efficiency was very important with paintball guns because you had to match the valve volume with the barrel volume. That's why the barrel. That's why the rifle didn't work. Not enough valve. Not enough valve volume to fill the barrel up. And your optimum barrel length. The optimum barrel length for the rifle was 13 inches. We shot 310 at that. We had to actually back it down a little bit. Um, it shot 190 foot per second with a 22 inch barrel every time we tried it with factory valve output. So without modifying the valve to do like double its output, it would have never shot 300 foot per second with a 22 inch. And I've had people come back to me in the last 10 years and try to get me to get one of those guns to go 300 foot per second with a 22 inch barrel on. Said it either cut it off to 13 or bore it out so it only has 13 inches of 68 cal because mm -hmm. You're never going to get that much frictional drag overcome with that little valve on. So the rifle, full full length rifle, was a was a non-starter. It couldn't work, not the way they did it.